So, welcome folks and blokes. This is another lovely day on planet Earth. We are doing our second of three videos today for you and I will probably do another introduction actually when we get down there. So this is Gentlemen's Club's John Tien edition. I'm also actually just testing the, the mic because on the bigger bike we have windscreen protection. Here we have no windscreen protection on this one so it'll be quite interesting to see how it sounds with uh, full on wind contact. Hmm. Okay. Technically speaking, where we're starting off today isn't John Tien, it's in fact Pratumnak, but there are three gentlemen's clubs in this area. And then the other number four is in fact just on Pratumnak Hill or just over. So it is definitely more on the John Tien side than it is the Pattaya side, which is why we've included these in today's boys road trip, gentlemen clubs edition. Just fucking walk how you want, darling. Don't fucking worry about bikes on the road or anything. Ha! So, for those who are not familiar with the area, where we are now is, yes, Pratumnak, but it's also Russia. It is predominantly Russian people here. It's almost, you could call it the Russian sector, as in like Naklua is the German sector and sound is a section in Patia that's the Indian sector. I don't know where the Chinese sector is, but this is 100% the Russian sector. So, yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It's always fun in Jomtil, what, Jomtien? Thailand traffic. It's wonderful. Keeps you on your toes. I always worry about sand here. I always ride a bit carefully down here. Whenever it rains, I've had a lot of rain lately. This, this area particularly gets really sandy. So yeah, that's probably a motorcyclist's biggest fear is slipping on sand. So I never push it on the sand. Or if you're going on unfamiliar roads, which we're not, but if you are, I would also recommend that you um, just go carefully on roads you don't know because sand can be anywhere, anytime, any place. So just be aware of that. This is a little shortcut through to Soy 5, which is the location of our first gentleman's club today. All will be revealed. Quite a bit of building going on. You know, there's certainly no issue with the economy here yeah, that I can see. This man making sure we don't hurt ourselves, which is cool. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Soy 5 on Pratunak Hill. This will be a good good test for them fluff muff as I call it the wind muff <laughs> we've already done a video on Benny's Roadhouse coming up on the left here so you should have seen that by the time you see this video that's one of the newest bars on uh, Soy 5 Also down the bottom end here, you've got the water park as well. So that's another sight to be seen. I personally haven't been around it, so it might be worth a look at one point. Okay, we're here at bar number one. I say bar number one, gentlemen's club number one. Now on the corner of this soy, soy five, Pratsumnak is uh, Cobra Lounge. So around the corner from Cobra Lounge, just behind me, is our first spot for the day, and it's uh, Venom Gentlemen's Club. So let's take a walk down the street. Okay, so guys, this is Venom Gentlemen's Club. Now, 
I have been here once. Um, I did say before, I just don't like the manager here. She really pushes you into buying drinks and that's not cool at all. Really is not. I'm gonna try and get a bit of a closer up of the venom itself. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, very helpful gentleman here. So yeah, this is it, Venom Gentlemen's Club. So here you see uh, the entrance just here. It's upstairs, this one. And yeah, in, in terms of how it's set up and you know, some of the ladies in there, they're, they're very nice. Just don't like the manager. You know, and I got caught twice because we in fact came here to Cobra, it's just the Cobra Lounge afterwards and she was here. And I got forced again into buying a drink, which really, really is not cool. So guys, that is number one. And as I say, it's not technically John Tien, it's obviously Pratamak, but it makes a lot more sense. It's closer to John Tien than it is to, to um, Pattaya itself. So it just makes sense to include this in a John Tien run. There are also another two gentlemen's clubs in this particular area. And um, we're going on to number two in just a jiffy. So here we go, guys, number two. That's two, not the other two. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go where you go I'll take you to a place, we can see it all Step off the edge, I can break your fall Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go where you go Right, here we are. Our number two place for today is um, quite a nice place, actually. You get a lot of good food in here. It's, it's, it's quite plush, it's pretty big, and it's about a kil no, not even a kilometer, a few hundred meters away from where we've just been. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is Kinnery. Huh? <laughs> oh, but I'm outside. I'm outside, no problem. Yeah, so he doesn't want us to film there. I have no idea why. I mean, it's quite a reasonable club. But as I say, I wasn't inside, so really he can't stop me filming. Uh, let's see if we can find any footage of signage or anything. But anyway, guys, this is Kinnery. You've seen it. I haven't got much option to do Hellfire a lot more. So I'll just walk up the road here and I'll film. I will film myself through it. That's, that's what we're looking at. So as I say, you can make your way down here. I say food's good. I uh, can't remember prices. I've only been here once or twice. I think I've been here twice, yeah. So, as I say, don't remember prices, but they're pretty much commensurate with, with all the other prices in the, uh, the area. So that is Kinnery, number two. On to number three now. Uh, another place I think is pretty cool. So let's just show you here as well. I just noticed this. There is uh, Kinnery parking. They have quite a lot of parking. So it's very popular for food, oddly enough, even though it's a gents club. Um, it is very popular for food. I've had um, you know, some fries here or something like that. And to be honest with you, they were very nice. they skin on fries. I think you're always gonna get a little bit of resistance doing this sort of thing. And I don't understand why, because first of all, these are pretty legitimate clubs. They're not illegal. You know, the services, everyone knows what they're doing. And in fact, this is just simply free advertising. What the hell? Why wouldn't you want free advertising? It's bloody mental. Anyway, some are how they are, some are how they are. I'll just see if I can find a sign of the place. Oh, here we go. Right, there we go. We can just do, we're doing all the outside stuff. Can't stop us outside. There it is. Kinnery, Kinnery Club. A tab away from heaven. That's their terms, tab away from heaven. So folks, if you want a bit of heaven, this is where you want to go. On to number three for the day. Well, here we are, number three. Well, we're going to walk up a little bit. It's, it's slightly down from Kinnery. So what I've actually done is put those two in the wrong order. Should have done this one first. But nevertheless, that was a, a good experience down at Kin Kinnery where they were more than welcome 
to have filming done. So we've, you know, not trying to intrude. We're not trying to make anybody look bad or anything like that. We're just trying to show you guys where things are. And, you know, I respect they want some privacy. We don't go in and stick cameras in people's faces and all that kind of thing. It is merely to show guys, if they're going out on a lad's day out, here's a route that you can take, keeping yourself to John Tien only, and not having to worry about going into the mad traffic of Patia. Although we are gonna do the Patia one, like I promised, but as I say, oh, motorbike. Okay, so folks, this here is our number three for the day. Uh, it's a relatively new one, it's called Cat Flaps, and I like this place. They've got a, it goes down some stairs, it's got a central round bar, and yeah, it's just been done really well. Yeah, I really do like this one, it's, it's I do recommend, and the prices are, are pretty normal, pretty reasonable, there's nothing unreasonable about them. I'll try and get a look inside if we don't get in trouble. Um, as you can see, there's the actual spot itself, I won't go in because that could be offending there privacy and stuff but this is it guys cat flaps and if you want to get a visual okay that I don't know what that soy is but what I can tell you is uh, that soy there is soy 5 Pratamnak soy 5 so that's the one you want to cover and I don't really know what the name of this road is um, yeah and there's a, a strong smell of weed in the area so for a friend of mine i know he's a particular fan of cider they do Stoford press mixed berries and apple cider and your usual tiger and everything else it's part of a group gentsclub.com which you can go and have a look at it gives you some a lot more information about uh, various gents clubs in the area but 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 it doesn't it doesn't cover them all it's i think it's part of their own group if I'm understanding it correctly. I think perhaps they review other clubs, but I haven't really spent a lot of time on it because I prefer to get out there and see it myself. Don't take a bit of a, take a wonder, look what the surrounding area is like. So that's number three. Now, number four is, um, it's quite a nice, nice club as well. I have been here as well. I've been to a lot of these in John Tien because I've lived in John Tien. So it's kind of been my haunt, if you call it that. Um, the next one's interesting in that it's really well tucked away and yeah, you would never know. You would never know unless, you know, you speak to people and like you're gonna find out now. But yeah, nice people, all nice girls in there. Bright prices are good, very friendly, but I'll tell you more about that when we get there. So we are now, this one's probably about a kilometer away from here. So we're going slightly up to Pratamnak Hill, then onto the Prior Road and uh, it's kind of off there. So, number four, coming up. I'm about to explode. now at number four. Now this is off Thrapaya Road. So Thrapaya Soy 8. I always go to the wrong place. I always go to Soy 9. So we've done a little run around here, but this is a very, very quiet little spot. You, you would not really think there was a gentleman's club here, but I quite like this one. So folks, this is Jade House Gentleman's Club Pattaya. Now, there are people around the corner I did see a short while ago, so I will try and show you. You come in here and hopefully you will see, it's essentially right at the end there, you see through there? See if I can make a little way in. I don't know if they'll let me or get angry, or but you can try. So yeah, as you see, this is... Oi! <laughs> right, so this is Jade House and here, 
if you if you have enough um, drinks, I think on a Sunday, if you have, I think it's a Sunday. Or some of the times they do like a roast and stuff. So you, I think if you spend something like four hundred baht on drinks, you get food for free. So absolutely fantastic. Um, ladies in there really nice. It's it's quite a nice bar actually. It's it's quiet. It's fairly private. It's fairly small. There's an outside area that I've never gone into or out into out out into out to out to, just on the one side and. Um, yeah, I, see, I had to say something nice not to get in trouble for filming. I don't know what it is with the John Tian ones. They seem to be a bit like, don't film me. It's not like we're trying to embarrass anybody. I wish people would understand this. Is we're only trying to just show guys where you can go, have a good time out. You know, that's it. Nothing more. No judgments, no nothing like that, you know. And I actually respect these people for, you know, the work they have to do to provide for their family. So I don't want anyone in any shape or form to think that I'm belittling or trying to make anything bad about any of this. It really isn't. It's just to show you guys where to go. Simple as that. There's no other motivation. So number four, second moan about the camera. Let's see what happens at number five. Number four, this one's slightly out the way of everything else. It's uh, the road's a bloody nightmare to come up. You'll, you may see in some other footage how bad it is here. I'm not going to tell you where it is, but if I just spin the camera around, okay, straight in front of you, that is going to be the Prior Road. And that's um, the Prior Road. And what I'm going to just show you now, okay, I'm going to spin around this way. Slowly, 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 catchy monkey. So I will reveal all right here. Folks, this is Passion Club, and it's not quite here in this little building here. No, 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 no. It is, in fact, down there. So let me just turn it back. So if I get shouted at for filming, I can just say I'm filming myself. It's, it's off the way I'm facing a bit to my right. <clears throat> and um, I think they do food. They have a swimming pool. Uh, it's, I guess, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been here, to be honest with you. What, what I didn't really like about it um, was the inside smoking, um, which, yeah, I can really get you. And, you know, as I say, smoking, smoking, it's not a problem, but, you know, a bit of consideration, that's all we're saying. So, yeah, this is an interesting club. <clears throat> um, not my favourite, but, you know, there are a lot of people who come here, I'll be honest with you. This, you know, that I've been twice, I think, and it's always full. So, you know, must be something good, right? As like I say, everything's it's got taste. Everyone's tastes are different. So as you can see, you would not even imagine there's anything here at all, would you? But no, lads and ladies and all those in between, this is Passion Club. Fantastic though, it's just, you would never know. You absolutely would never know. So this is our number four. No, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, number five. Gosh, sorry. Number five. I think I said it wrong just then, didn't I? So yeah, Passion Club. Down, uh, you turn at the, at the Thrapaya Junction where the big cannabis place is. That's where you would turn in. If you were to turn the other way, for example, you would be going to our next club, 
and um, and, and a whole bunch of other bars that are all down there. So uh, you'll see now. Here we go. Would you come running if I called you and give me a helping hand? Would you come catch me if I fell down towards a bitter end? You wanna talk about it? You couldn't live without me. You know you had your chances. Oh. So we've now gone, we're going to number six and seven because they are literally opposite each other. I'm just showing you this shot because that is the intersection of the prior road. I will now zoom around and uh, I'll walk you down just for a second and I'll tell you what we're going to be doing. So six and seven are right next to each other, well, opposite each other. I'll show you this side first and then I'll just skip around because they are literally opposite each other. Then six, seven, and then eight is, I'd say, I reckon three, four hundred yards down the road. So we'll show you number eight as well while we're in this area. So for now, this here is uh, Maggie May. Now, Maggie May also has a um, an operation in in Patia. So Eddie Cup. Uh, it's actually quite nice in there. The manager in here, very, very nice, to be honest. I'm trying to get an angle, but I got cars in my way. So it's a bit of a pain trying to do this. But yeah, look. Uh, Maggie, mate. Nice and fun. There's a couple of ladies preparing. I think they open around about two o'clock. Then, then, what I'll do now is I'm going to turn around here and I'm going to have to walk across the road because giving you a shot from here is just rubbish. It's just a car in the way. So let me walk directly across the road. So something about Maggie Mays, nice manager, very friendly. And actually the same with this next one. This is uh, the newest club that I'm aware of in, uh, in Patia. Oh, sorry, John Tien. And folks, this is called, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, getting in the way of people as well, sorry, sorry. So yeah, this is the Robin Hood. Um, it's relatively new, uh, also quite nice manager in there. It's quite cool decor inside. Uh, drinks are really good prices. You get inside, you can see from the inside out. So it's almost like sitting on the roadside. So yeah, that's number eight, Robin Hood. Definitely worth a pop down. So give you some perspective. This is the prior road. And I'm sure those of you who follow the channel will know that uh, Snow and I like to have a couple of drinks there at the Lone Star at the uh, 55 Bart. 55 baht per drink up until 6 p.m. I don't think we'll be partaking today, but you know, when we do, that's where we go. So that's it, Maggie May and Robin Hood. And I will just try to go up on the road there. And here we go. Yeah. So, 700, you, you'll notice that a lot of these are much closer together than they were on the dark side, but the dark side is a bigger place. We are now clumped in sort of, in, in the Pratimak area, you've got a clumping of three definites and then the fourth just slightly out of the way. Then you've got one, two, three, four, in this, five actually, in this little area here. And then we've got a couple more down the way. So that's number six and seven. So club number eight is literally about, I would say about 300 odd meters down the way towards the beach, which is just behind me. This is um, uh, Patia Beach and I'll show you what it is. It is called, there it is, uh, Kit Kat, Kit Kat John Tien. So yeah, let's just walk in. It's kind of behind the back here a little bit. I'll let you have a squeeze yourself. Uh, okay, so. Okay, so you walk between the bars here and just to your just to your left here is Kit Kat Jom Tien. Oops, oopsie, oopsie. I'll put it back on me so I don't make anyone feel embarrassed or anything. 
It's very cab. No way, he's filming me. <laughs> so yeah, here is, um, it's quite fun. You go in there, uh, drinks are pretty reasonable. The ladies are very nice. It's nice and local. So you can literally do three, three runs, like in a matter of minutes, depending on which one you enjoy. But yeah, I've been here a few times. It's, it's good, yeah. Definitely good. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned, but most of the clubs tend to open 2 p.m. until 9 p.m. That's the gentleman's club standard. Some, however, do extend through until 12. So good to check the timings on some of these places in terms of your routing, because you might sort of want to stay a bit longer at some and think, actually, you know what? I can go to this other one that closes at 12. Lost, you know what I mean? So that, folks, is number eight. Now, I said we had nine to show you, um, but actually, I think we've got 11 to show you. I think, I don't know how two more have popped into the situation, but yeah, I think there's 11. That's eight. I know where nine is coming up shortly. Nine's a little bit of a ride bike away. It's in Soy 2. Okay, Soy 2 off John Tien Beach Road. Remember that, Soy 2. We'll see you there for number eight. Number nine, which I thought was going to be the end of the day, but then realized actually there's a couple more that uh, we put on the route plan. And for some reason, I couldn't add 11 together. So not really, not really smart, am I? Let us have a look and see what is uh, number nine. I'll tell you a little bit more about this place. Okay, so this is in fact, I said it's Soy 2, but actually it's Soy 3. And it's on the corner, Seahorse Lounge. Um, I quite like this place. One thing I say is quite good about it. Obviously, the ladies are very nice in there, but I really like um, the the they've got great music videos. I know it sounds bizarre, but you know you can just go in there, have a normal drink. You don't have to buy a lady drink if you don't want to, and you can just watch some fantastic music videos. It's got a great selection of music videos. It's a I like this place. I do. So I would recommend this place. I think drinks are about eighty baht. Um, and I think ladies drinks about 150. I haven't been here in a while, but I did come here a few times last year. So yeah, Seahorse is number nine on the list today. Let's go on to number 10, which I wasn't expecting to give you today. I thought we were done at nine. It's warm, as you might be able to tell. And uh, yeah, you want to top up your tan. It's the kind of thing you want to do. Don't forget, we will put the whole road, road map process down below. So you just have to click it, follow the link, and it'll give you a route. Now, you can mix up your route however you want to, but just to try and make things easier for you guys, that's what we will do as we've done on video number one. So on to number 10, here we go. now at club number 10 and you'll find this at soy welcome so down beach road a couple of kilometers from the last spot and it's on the left soy welcome now we seem to be having a great deal of luck today in that every single place virtually we find 
we've got to hang around a bit because there's a, either a bloody food truck in front of them or some other truck. So I'll try and get an angle from an angle, if you know what I mean. But this chap doesn't look, he's going to be leaving very soon. Let me give you a quick spin up the top so you can see that's, uh, you'll see that's Beach Road, straight up there. You can see up there. So you've got Beach Road. And we're thinking we might actually come down here. And here we have uh, Nirvana, Gentlemen's Club and Sports Bar. This opens at 4.30 uh, in the evening. I'm not quite sure how late it's open, but yeah, as I say, 4.30. And yeah, probably, I would guess because it's, um, because it's a late open, it probably closes late as well. So probably a midnight closer, I would have thought. Uh, it looks like there's some hotels or some stuff at the bar. What we thought we would do is we'd probably come and do some footage here on Soy Welcome as separate content. Uh, so this is club number 10. We do have one more in our little bag to show you. That's a lot of clubs to cover. You may not want to do it in one day. You may want to, you know, half and half, you know, whatever suits you guys. That's entirely up to you. But we just want to show you what's about here. There may be more. I, I, I'm not aware of any, but I'm, you know, always stand to be corrected. They're always popping up all over the place. So yeah, this, this looks like a very interesting soy as well. In fact, it looks like a lot of restaurants and it's not, it's not, well, maybe just by glance, it doesn't look like a party, um, party street. It looks like a bit of everything. You've got bikes for rent, I can see here. I just saw a couple of massage places. You've obviously got the gents club restaurants and then you have the hotels and so forth at the end. So yeah, we, I think we'll do this as a separate thing entirely. Right, number 11, the last club for today. Number 11, I couldn't believe I missed out two of my calculations, but there you go. Bonus, bonus. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out We are now at number 11 for the day on our boys day out to the Gentleman Club experiments experience here in John Tien. I'm gonna get round in a sec where it's really close to the traffic here so let me just spin it round and give you an idea, okay? I won't give you the name yet. So as you can see here, beer, music, pool table, dancing, and food, right? And there it is, the very place. We'll see you all, so I up. And uh, yeah, I've been in here. It's quite a nice bar in there, to be honest with you. Um, so this is it, and it's on Cheaprik, and on the corner, as I spin around here, of uh, Non Prong, or it's also Second Road. That is John Tien's Second Road. So, one little tip in here. Uh, we learned the hard way. You can order yourself like two beers or something like that, but, but they got a special, a bucket, which in fact costs less if you work out price per beer. So we sort of ordered the beers and then said, oh, oh gosh, we just saw this deal. Said, ah, too late, too late. So we had to drink the two beers at the more expensive price. So guys, if you're going to be here for a while, there's a few of you, get yourselves a bucket. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. Ladies were very friendly when we went in there. Uh, it's on a couple of levels, actually. It's, it's, and it's got, a, it's got a pool table as well. So I'm not sure that I mentioned the name, but you know, we, we've, unfortunately, we don't name these places. And because of the names of these places, although we're not monetized yet anyway, so it really doesn't matter to us, but you know, if we're showing, we're not showing anything in any way or explicit or sexual or anything like that, but you'll get penalized because they named their club what they named it. So you go figure, hey, go figure. Anyway, number 11, this is the end of the John Tien experience. Gentlemen, we hope you've enjoyed the ride. Please fasten your seatbelts for the next edition. Patia Central. Well, what a better place than any, well, is this a better place than any to give the summary for today? It's just on the beach because it's not very far from the last club that we've just been to. So in summary, that's given us 11 clubs, 11 clubs for you guys to take a, a boys day out with, go and see each one, see what each one offers, because they do offer something a little bit different 
you know, something different and something the same. It depends what you all like. Some clubs better than others, some do food, some don't food, you know, etc. etc. So we hope that this has been useful to you guys. And as I say, we will put the route map down in the description below so you can just click it. We'll also put links uh, to uh, each club so you can have a look at them individually before you go out and uh, do anything like that. I would like to lastly just say thanks so much for everyone here who has subscribed, all the new and please do continue to like the videos as we need to try and push our, our numbers up uh, like share subscribe i suppose they all say that but uh, we do appreciate everything that you guys have been uh, been supporting us on as we've gone so far also you can uh, get these uh, merchandise if you're interested we do pop in some of the videos so little uh, little plug oh, terrible isn't it blatant <laughs> plug but anyway guys thanks again have yourselves a fantastic day and we'll see you on the third and final edition of the gentleman's cruise around Patia. we're going to be more into Patia central on the next one so guys have a fantastic day thank you and catch you later